other day I was speaking to a, a good group of Republican citizens uh, at the Greenville Spartanburg Republican Palmetto House Women Group. Um, and I made a comment about uh, the council who had uh, proposed a tax increase or a millage increase. And I only called one councilman's name, and uh, that's not what was not my intentions. There, so I want to correct that here. There are four people who are going to vote or try to vote for a millage increase uh, so that some projects can be done. Um, the one I called out, the only one I called out was Mr. O'Neill Mintz, and I didn't mean to leave the rest of them out, so I want to make sure that Michael Brown, Jane Hall, and Jeff Horton are the four that proposed for the tax increase. Now, anybody that watches this video, I hope you would pray for them. I hope that you would contact them and, and maybe help them find a better solution because raising taxes in, in this period, in, in this economic time that we have is horrible. Um, I just think that we could cut out some wasteful spending. Um, I think that we all could do a little bit better job um, not giving money away until the basic core values are met and uh, hopefully that'll, that'll come to pass. So this is a lean budget year for everybody, not just for the Sheriff's Department, but for everybody. Um, so I, would, I wanted to qualify that um, the four council members that, that did that or proposed it for the next budget is uh, Councilman Jeff Horton, uh, Councilman Council Lady Jane Hall, uh, Councilman Michael Brown, and Odell Mintz. And the ones that voted against it are Dale Colbreth, uh, Roger Nutt, and David Britt. So that's the kind of stuff that I want you to, to understand that we're fighting and dealing with, uh, plus the insurance increases and everything that I think that um, we could go look for a better policy. And hopefully uh, we'll be able to find something better because some of the officers are going to be made to pay the equivalency of a car payment or a house payment each month. $543 on one plan and, and not get a house or a car for it. Uh, that's roughly sixty-three dollars to $6,500 a year that is unnecessary. Uh, other agencies around us are having the same issues and yet their employees are not having to pay this much money. I just want to know why. Um, I, I think we pay a gentleman by, by the name of Mr. Ted Eastler uh, a great fee, uh, which I don't know Mr. Eastler and, and I don't know anything about him except I heard his name a few times, but I do know that he's under contract with us uh, as a broker, and I was told that um, you know he gets a, a substantial salary. You can look it up, it's public record. Um, and I don't know what for. Uh, nobody ever consults me with that, it's probably not my business, but I, wanna, I just wanna make sure that our insurance is being bid out, and it hasn't been for the past six years, and our employees, all county employees, are getting rode real hard for this. And I would ask that if you would make contact with your council and pray about this situation, I would be very appreciative of it. That's, that's all I have to say.